Hi, beautiful souls. As you well know, I'm now in Scotland. You may be able to hear the water beside me. I always <clears throat> look to find the water. Bit of a, not a hike to get here, but uh, my energy is, is um, <clears throat> decreasing somewhat. And um, so those dreams of climbing mountains probably aren't likely to happen given that uh, <clears throat> I'm getting closer to my transition into pure positive energy once again. And um, I probably will talk a little bit more on that now, given that it's, uh, it's inevitable and I feel it. I feel it in my body. I see it in my body. I started to take methadone to help this really bad cough that I have from a pleural effusion which is fluid around the lung and when I cough I'm in a lot of pain um, so you know anything that helps is very warmly and gratefully received <clears throat> there are so many different ways that we can take care of ourselves and I really encourage everyone not to limit themselves or even limit their animals by only choosing one port of call. Be open to receive whatever is available and whatever works, whatever works for you. Do not suffer if you don't have to suffer. <clears throat> Make things as comfortable as possible so that you can live in presence, so that you can be fully aware of what is going on. I'm 51 years old. There's so much pressure on people healing their bodies and being perfectly well. People are celebrated when they get well, despite the odds. You look at people like <clears throat> Anita Mojani and people like that that have come out of comas and gone on to inspire others with their story. And that's wonderful and we all love to hear those stories. But not everybody does heal, not everybody does have that radical remission. And it doesn't mean that there's anything less in them or that they have failed in any way. But there is so much pressure as if you know, you're not good enough if you can't heal or that you must not be spiritual enough or that you must um, have trauma that you still haven't resolved because otherwise you would be well. And all of these really very false and distorted ideas. And yet higher self always knows what's best for soul. And there's no failure. So if you are somebody that's also going through health challenges that may see you closing or becoming closer to your time of death in this physical lifetime. Do not think you're a failure. Do not see yourself anything other than just a beautiful ray of light and that you're just ready to make your transition home, that's all. And isn't that beautiful? Because we all know that well, I say we all know, but many of us know that on the other side is actually just pure bliss. The bridge is the hardest part. People find it hard to let go, hard to release themselves from this world. They want to be fully in this world or they want to be fully in the other, but they don't want to have to let go in order to go to the other. <clears throat> We've all died so many times before and we all know that it's wonderful and lovely to be in that blissful state in other world. There's no fear, just pure peacefulness, pure ease and pure grace. And let's face it, when the body vehicle is tired, you do kind of lose a bit of the sweetness in life. There are certain things that I want to do and <clears throat> It's a great big effort to walk up a hill, to come out with my dog. Everything is an effort now. 
even lifting up my arm, even holding this phone, it's, uh, it's heavy. Everything is heavy because when your body starts to let go, you become more weighty. You might be thin, but you become more weighty. Lifting your arm, lifting your leg, lifting a finger is more tiring. So be kind to yourselves, dear ones. Remember, there is absolutely no shame in leaving the earth plane at a younger age. There's no shame at leaving at any age. And there's no shame if you don't receive a radical remission. Maybe that was not your purpose. Sometimes we don't fully realize our purpose. You may think it's one, but there may be so many others. One thing that I can say is it's important to love yourself and be kind to yourself. Because when you love and you're kind to yourself, you can love and be kind to all others too. <clears throat> Lanto's just uh, looking for some cookies. <sighs> Sun's out. I'm going to go to the Cory Beckin Whirlpool for Monday. Go and have a little adventure. I'm excited. And I send you lots of love and well-being wishes. Onwards. Keep smiling, keep being true to yourselves. Keep holding the vision of what you wish to create without fear, with purpose, with joy, and with intention. Love all, all love. My name is Zaza, like, subscribe and share. Thank you.